Okay guys, I've got another catching skill for you to do. This progresses on from the double-handed catch or two-handed catch. This is a single-handed catch. Now, I would always prefer you, and you always should, go with those two hands if you can. However, there are some scenarios where the balls come too far away for you to try the two-handed catch, and you can only go with one hand. Now, to practice that catching, we're just gonna do it in front of us, on both hands, throwing it up, and catching with one hand. Now let's look at what I'm doing here. Obviously I'm throwing the ball up nice in front of me. I'm keeping my palm facing the sky and I'm spreading my fingers. Now if you think of a Venus flytrap, the plant that closes in around the fly when it uh, touches its pad, same with your single hand. It's more important here that you close those fingers around it, otherwise it will bounce out. So, whatever direction the ball's moving, you move your hand in the same direction to cushion it. We call that soft hands. As the ball hits your palm, or towards your finger, slightly up on the palm, towards your fingers, as it hits on those pads, you close those fingers around it. Soft hands, moving with the ball, and as always, you track the ball with your eyes. You keep your eye on that ball all the way into your hands until you catch it. Let's have a look again. Up in the air, I'm tracking, I'm moving down with the ball. The minute the ball touches my hand, I catch it. If I keep that hand rigid, this can happen. Hard hands cause the ball to bounce out. Close the hand around the ball and drop in the direction that it's moving. Keep looking at the ball. And the best way to get better of it, better at it, of course, is to practice. So get practicing, guys. Master it.